The section is about characteristics of network topology architectures. Let's start with two-tier architecture. The two-tier network architecture includes access layer, where end devices like PCs, printer, IP phones connect. And the core layer, which also acts as a distribution layer, connects access switches together and routes traffic between VLANs or networks. Use case example would be small to medium-sized businesses that don't need separate distribution layers. The benefits of this architecture is lower cost and complexity, easier management, and fewer devices. Next is three-tier architecture. Three-tier consists of the access layer, and its purpose is to connect end devices like PCs, printers, phones to the network. Access layer devices can be access switches or sometimes wireless access points. The access layer's function is port security, VLAN tagging, and power over Ethernet. An example of access layer is a switch in a department that all employees plug their PCs into. The second tier of the three-tier architecture is the distribution layer. Its purpose is to aggregate traffic from access switches and enforces policies. The devices used in this layer are layer 3 switches or routers. And its functions are routing between VLANs, quality of service, and security policies. An example of distribution layer is a switch that connects all the floor switches and routes traffic between them. And the top tier of this architecture is the core layer, and its purpose is to provide fast, reliable backbone connectivity between distribution layers. Devices used in this layer are high-performance routers or switches. The core layer's functions are high-speed switching, redundancy, and fault tolerance. An example of how core layer works is the data center switch that interconnects different parts of the campus network. The benefits of using a three-tier architecture is scalability, better segmentation and control, and resilient and high performing. Another topology is the spine leaf architecture. The spine and leaf network topology is a variation of a three tier network architecture in a full mesh topology, where the core layer is split into two parts a spine and a leaf. The spine layer is made up of high speed routers or switches that connect all the leaf devices together. These devices are responsible for providing high-speed connectivity between the different parts of the network and they act as a primary point of interconnection. The leaf layer is made up of access switches that connects end users or servers to the network. These devices are responsible for connecting end users to the network and providing basic security features such as VLANs and access control list. The spine leaf architecture is common in data centers. The spine switches connect to all the leaf switches, and the leaf switches connect to the endpoints like servers. All leaves connect to all spines, forming a non-blocking mesh. The key characteristics of spine leaf architecture is that it's highly scalable and redundant since every leaf is connected to every spine and there is no single point of failure. Spine leaf is also easier to expand. Just add more leaf or spine switches. Example use case of spine leaf is modern data centers, large scale enterprise networks, and cloud environments. Up next is the wide area network. This connects network across geographically dispersed locations like cities or countries. For example, a headquarters connected to branch offices via leased lines, MPLS, or VPN. The benefits of a wide area network is it enables remote work, centralized management, and supports global business needs. Next is the SOHO or the small office home office. A SOHO is a small scale network setup for home businesses or small offices. The devices used in Soho is wireless router or a few wired or wireless clients. 
and it typically combines all networking needs in one device like firewall and DHCP. An example of Soho is a graphic designer working from home with a laptop, printer, and cloud backup using a single router. The benefits of this architecture is that it's simple and affordable and easy to deploy and maintain. Next is on-premises and cloud. On-premises is infrastructure and software hosted locally on a company's physical premises. This has full control over hardware, security, and maintenance. A use case example is a company hosts its email and database servers in its own server room. Then we have the cloud. A cloud is infrastructure, platforms, or software hosted off-site and accessed via the internet. The benefits of using cloud is that it's scalable, cost-effective, and accessible from anywhere. An example of using cloud services is using Microsoft 365 for email and collaboration instead of running your own Exchange server. A hierarchical model with access, distribution, and core layers used in larger networks for scalability and policy control. Connecting a company's offices in different cities using MPLS or VPN over the internet is an example of Which layer in the three-tier design applies policies, performs routing, and links access and core layers? A network model with two layers, access and core, commonly used in smaller networks for simplicity and cost efficiency. A modern data center design where each leaf switch connects to every spine switch, optimizing east-west traffic flow. A network setup for small offices or home offices, typically using a single router with wireless and switch functions. It connects end-user devices like PCs and printers to the network in a two-tier architecture. Infrastructure physically located and maintained within a company's facility. It handles high-speed forwarding of traffic and acts as a central backbone in a two-tier architecture. A network that spans large geographic areas connecting multiple LANs or branch offices using service provider infrastructure. Using cloud providers for services like storage, virtual networking, and application hosting accessible via the internet. Topology that uses equal cost multipath and no single point of failure. Network type that uses an all-in-one device for connectivity.